Hi, I'm Katherine Donovan, and today I want to do a review on someone who I refer to is the king of insidious music and creepy, eerie, scary sounds. The man who tells the true but scary stories. Well, he's one of them, but still, he's absolutely brilliant, you might know him. They call him Mr. Nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> his drawing of his um, mascot icon thing, it doesn't really seem scary, even though it's supposed to be, but it's really not. And he sounds like a really nice guy. A really, really nice guy. Also, um, he tells a bit of creepypastas, such as the Happy Sun Daycare, the truth about Chuck E. Cheese, which that one is my favorite, but it's also the creepiest. Um, he also did some um, collaboration videos with um, Mr. Creepypasta. If you don't know who Mr. Creepypasta is, then you guys are missing out. If you do, great. Um, but what I have to say about Mr. Nightmare is good reasons. And when I say he is the king of insidious music, I mean sometimes he would play music that's supposed to sound eerie because of the story. And then it makes you kind of make your skin crawl or your skin jump. And sometimes he plays sound effects that will really give you a jump scare. I'm not kidding. I don't think he's trying to do that on purpose, but it's just, you're listening to the story and all of a sudden you hear this music and you're like, what the heck? And sometimes you're like, just after he ends a video, sometimes he plays something creepy in the background, like a, like music that sounds really like somebody is trying to scare you. It's, ooh but it is so good. Like the first time I found his channel, at first when I listened to the stories, I was a bit creeped out. And then all of a sudden I had trouble sleeping because I don't know, I just got a bit paranoid. But then I'm like, you know what? Those stories that he told were really good. And it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll have another listen. But my god, people are like commenting him saying all oh, the stories are great and how some say about some creepy pastas like some Disney pasta oh, Wait, Disney creepy pasta would suddenly some commenters would be like, oh, there goes my childhood. And yeah, like the Splash Mountain one. Oh my god. Even he did one on Thomas the Tank. I was like, whoa, that was creepy. <laughs> I never knew that creepy pasta can really give you the heebie-jeebies, but it's so good. And I really appreciate Mr. Nightmare. He doesn't always do creepy pastas or true but scary tales. He also does top tens or top 20s or top 17. Um, like um, childhood friendly toys that really gave kids the creeps. Um, um, dark episodes of kid shows. Um, yeah, just those typical things. Even creepy things seen in kids TV shows or movies. He does that and yeah. He also does top 20 creepy kids drawings on what kids drawn or top 17 sorts of things that kids might have said that really freaked people out. Yeah. But it's really really awesome stuff that he does. He also did a few 
interactive stories like one of Five Nights at Freddy's, one of a Christmas story, one of a empty house that's haunted, that sort of thing. And I have to say, I am really impressed of what he does. It is so good. But anyway, don't listen to me about this. Look at his channel and see, because he is really awesome. Whew, but be warned, if you ever listen to that jump scare music or sound effects he plays, be aware, be very aware of it. But he's a really good person, I know. <laughs> anyway, check out Mr. Nightmare's channel. Thank you.